Four. It's not an ACC game, but a bit of a rivalry because it's yeah. uh, Ithaca area, Cornell. I know yep. Peter Hall, our meteorologist, yeah, he's a graduate from there. And, of course, Syracuse will be packing the dome uh, at the JMA Wireless Dome this evening. 33, cloudy for the walk-up. Look at the wind. It's going to be light. That's a nice benefit. You know, usually <laughs> it's very gusty when you get up on that hill. Uh, 32 degrees falling to 31, so you might need the hat and gloves. And there could be some scattered flurries for the walk-back. But good luck to both of our Central New York teams. I know a little tough game down in Virginia for the Cuse over the weekend, so we'll get hopefully back on track. We've got below normal temperatures coming in for today, tomorrow especially, 5 to 10 degrees below the normal high, which is just around 40, 41. We're only going to be close to freezing for tomorrow, but you see what's building on this temperature departure map for highs. Out over the Plain States, a nice significant warm up, and gradually behind a warm front on Thursday, we're going to be warming towards Friday, Saturday, and especially Sunday. We could be looking at mid 50s after being in the low 30s for tomorrow. So there's going to be a change coming. Maybe we get some very minor snow over the next 48 to 60 hours. A couple of opportunities, but it should all be melting this weekend. So we still have some snowpack up in the Tug Hill, the Adirondacks. What we get today is going to be a coating to an inch on colder surfaces south of Syracuse into the southeast, and that's this morning. Most locations not seeing any accumulation, just a lot of clouds as that persistent lake effect flow continues. It's been out of the west-northwest right into central New York, but it's going to change a little bit. As this high pressure gets closer to us, this low as well, it'll become more northerly. So it'll be more west of Onondaga County overnight tonight and first thing tomorrow. Additionally, this low should scoot to the south and miss us. It will energize the atmosphere a little bit as it pulls away. So we'll get some minor accumulation overnight tonight in some portions, especially the Finger Lakes and west of central New York. And then some minor snow tomorrow morning before it quiets down. A warm front comes next. That'll be Thursday. A minor accumulation, maybe the biggest though, uh, an inch or two possible in some spots went that warm front on Thursday. So overall, it's just cloudy, pretty quiet, not too much wind later today. It's a little bit brisk this morning, gust to near 15 miles per hour, making it feel a little colder than these numbers, but they're above average here, but not rising much. I think we only do 36 for our high, and our flurries will taper to become very isolated south-southeast of the lake. And then it's more south of the lake, some light snow showers and flurries setting up, especially midnight through 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. And that's going to produce a minor accumulation in this area. We'll show you the accumulation map. Then they become more isolated southeast of the lake tomorrow. Going into Thursday, that warm front gives us a trace to an inch or two with some snow showers. There's the warmer air just behind it and drier. So snowfall forecast by this time tomorrow morning, we're talking a trace to an inch south, southeast of the lake. There'll be some spots with two inches, as you can see in the Finger Lakes. And in western New York, maybe three inches. So 33 tomorrow, flurries tapering, some snow showers, plenty of clouds on Thursday, 36 on the other side of that front, partly sunny, 47, 53 for Saturday.